Uh, well, really ugly scenes there. Let's speak to Sky's Ivor Bennett, who has more on this story. Am I, Ivor, explain to us what we were watching there. What was happening? Yeah, ugly scenes, you're right, um, that, as you say, have prompted some pretty widespread uh, condemnation, condemnation from government ministers here this afternoon. Uh, the footage showed uh, Tsipi Hotovli, Israel's ambassador to the UK. Um, she had been at an event at the London School of Economics at their campus in central London last night. Uh, as she left, here she is carrying the bouquet of flowers. As she left, she was subjected to... Uh, some very hostile um, at, uh, atmosphere indeed, with um, protesters not only shouting, um, shame on you, booing. At one point, the police actually had to hold the protester back. It seemed like the crowd were trying to swarm around her and her car. As I say, it's prompted um, some strongly worded criticism from government ministers here in, in reaction. Foreign Secretary Liz Truss, she's called it unacceptable. The Home Secretary Priti Patel, she said she was disgusted by, uh, by this footage. And we have a longer statement from the Education Secretary Nadim Zahawi. He said, last night the Israeli ambassador was subjected to unacceptable intimidation. This is not disagreement or free speech. It is harassment and it will have deeply shaken Jewish students both at LSE and across the country. Now, for her part, Ms. Hatovli has uh, tweeted today to say that um, the event itself that she had been at was actually excellent and uh, that she will not be intimidated. She's also said she's thankful for all the support she's received from um, members of the government here, while the LSE have also put out a statement saying that free speech and freedom of expression underpin everything they do um, and they say that this must be in a, in a respectful manner adding intimidation or threats of violence are completely unacceptable and they also say that they are uh, reviewing the processes around this event to inform future planning.